Hello guys, today in this video I'm going to show you that how you can create an online currency converter. So we will create a program in which the output will be like this. Here you can see, please enter the amount. So I will enter any amount here. Let us suppose I will enter here 8 and now I will select uh, what it is. Is it 8 rupees, 8 dollars or 8 euros? Let us suppose it is 8 rupees. So uh, convert into in which currency you want to convert it. You want to convert it into uh, into dollar or euros so uh, suppose you want to convert it into dollars so you submit here and you can see here the result is 8 rupees contains 0.112 dollars in the similar way if you write here suppose one dollar then you want to convert it into rupees and submit then one dollar contains 72.41 rupees right now this is the value of rupees in front of dollar and if you are uh, putting the same values for example here you have eight dollar uh, and you convert it into dollars so dollar are being converted into dollar which should not happen so here you when you will click on submit so it will show it will tell you that uh, please select the different currency to convert because you have uh, here selected the same currencies so you have to convert it into any other currency so this is a currency converter I will create two documents one will be the HTML document and other will be the PHP so uh, first of all let's create the HTML document in which I want uh, three things uh, here you can see I want the first thing here which is a, a text so which takes the value from the user and uh, second one is the drop down list which will tell me the the currency in which uh, the, the value which has entered is in and uh, I want to convert it into which of these uh, currencies so I want three things here so for this in HTML I will create uh, these three things first of all so first of all let's create text which will take input from the user so here I will uh, save it first of all save as and here again I am saving it into my htdocs in XAMPP in PHP folder uh, as HTML document so I will give it any name and I'll save it and I will create one more file new file here and that file will be a PHP so here I will save it as currency PHP dot PHP so I have created the two documents first one is the HTML and the second one is currency PHP dot PHP so currency HTML in currency HTML first of all I will write here inside the body first of all you can see here what I want I want this this text here so which will take the input from the users so first of all I will create the form and inside this form I will first of all take the input from the user in the text so I will take input and that input will be type is equal to text now after this I want two drop down lists so first drop down list I will create using select and this select inside this select I will create the options and inside the options I will write my first option so first of all let's create the first two currencies uh, one is dollar and other is rupees and after that I will add euros later first of all let's uh, talk about uh, rupees and dollars so uh, first option I am having inside the drop down list will be rupees and the second option will be dollars or US dollars US dollar so now here I want by default I want here select so I, I will write here one more that is select here and I will give the value to them as I have done in the previous video so that server may get to know that what has been selected by the user so value then I will write here select and I will take it as selected so by default it will be written there if nothing is selected by the user then select will be selected in the drop down list and here also I will give value for the server and that value will be rupees 
and here also I will give value and that will be US dollar so here uh, in the similar way I will create another drop down list because you can see so uh, I have created this one I have created this drop down list and now I want to, uh, to uh, create another drop down list this one and after that I will click uh, create submit button so here uh, I am just going to copy this whole and I will paste it here also and before this here I will write like this here I will write convert into so I will write here convert into and uh, here I will write before this I will write and after that the user will put uh, enter the amount here then he will select the uh, the currency which this amount is in and he want to convert it into which of these and now i will give name to all of them so that the things may be transferred to the php first of all let's give uh, a, a name to this text box so here i will give it name as anything uh, for example amount i am giving it name as amount for this I will give name and the name will be uh, first currency <laughs> and for this I will give name as uh, second currency so I have given name to them and uh, now at the end I will create the submit button because after submission the all the data which the user will insert into this form will be transferred to PHP so I will uh, here create again input then I will create type uh, submit and I will close it so this is what I have in my HTML now things will be transferred to PHP so if I want to transfer the things from uh, from this form to PHP then uh, this whole form will be transferred and how it will be transferred for this I will have to write here inside the form I will write two things the first one will be method so method will be post so uh, as I had told you in the previous video you can go through my previous video why I have written this post here I have explained everything in my previous video and here <coughs> I will write the second thing that is action and action in action I will write the name of this PHP file which I have created this is the file that is currency PHP dot dot PHP I have named it as currency PHP dot PHP so this is so what does it mean it means that uh, this whole form will be submitted to this PHP file and uh, it will go using the post method so now uh, let's save it and now after this we will go to currency currency php in which i will put the things inside the body and inside body as i have done in the previous video here also i will i will uh, create three variables because i want to take the input uh, from three things one is from here the second is from this drop down list and third is from this drop down list what the user will write here that I will take into one variable and that variable will be so here I will create dollar and uh, let's name it as amount is equal to you know what I have to write you can uh, if you have seen my previous video you know what I, ha I have to write here dollar underscore and after this I will write post and after this I will write square bracket and inside the square bracket I will write the name which I have given to this text I have given the name to this text as amount so I will write here amount inside the quotes because this is an array so I have uh, taken square brackets here and I will take the input input uh, given by the user in the first drop down list and that will be let's say the name is first currency first currency is equal to 
again dollar underscore post and here its name you can see its name is I have given first currency here for the third drop down list I will create here second currency is equal to dollar then again underscore post and square bracket and here second currency this is the name which I have given to the second second drop down list here so I have now taken the values which are given by the user and those values are entered into these three variables after this I will create some more variables dollar rupees in dollar is equal to right now there are 72.41 rupees in one dollar so here I have written that value similarly I will write here another variable and that is dollar in rupees this is another variable and there are 0.014 dollars in one rupee if I want to convert the dollars into rupees and if I want to know that how many dollars are there in in let's say five rupees then I, ha I will have to multiply that dollar with 0.014 so for this I will create another variable that is uh, convert into dollar and it will be equal to the amount which which will be entered by the user that is amount and it will be multiplied with 0.014 and I have given a variable name to it that is dollar in rupees in the similar way if I want to convert into rupees then I will create another variable that is do dollar and here convert into rupees dollar amount will be multiplied with dollar this 72.41 which is rupees in dollar I want the result so how I will uh, get the result for this I will use if statement if the first drop down list contains the value as rupees in that case what should happen so if uh, uh, this this value this value this variable is having the value like this uh, first first currency is equal to is equal to rupees if it is rupees for example you can see here that if this thing for example the user has inserted 5 here and he has selected rupees here so in that case what should happen if first currency is equal to is equal to rupees uh, here I will have to use capital R because you can see here I have written capital R here and dollar is selected in the second drop down list so for that I will use here and operator for this I will write to a percent a percent and after this I will write the name of the second currency second currency that is this second currency and second currency is equal to is equal to dollars means if the second currency has been selected as dollar like this okay then what should happen so if second currency is selected as dollar but here I have written US dollar okay so I will write here US dollar US space dollar so I will write here US space dollar if this is selected in the second one then what should happen in that case eco so uh, first of all amount whatever amount it is that will be taken here and this amount rupees contains this much dollar so I will write here dollar amount and rupees contain how much you can see here uh, when you want to convert convert into dollars you are going to convert here into dollars so uh, you will use this variable here this variable contains the result so echo dollar amount rupees contain dollar dollar convert into dollar whatever amount the user will enter and that will come here it will be multiplied with this 0 0.014 and uh, the result will be inserted into this variable and this variable I have written here 
and after this I will write dollars US dollars so this it should write and after that I will put the semicolon and if it is not the case in that case I will write else if uh, the first currency is dollars and the second currency is rupees for example if the first currency is let's say here is dollar and the second one is rupees I will copy it from here and I will paste it here and if the first currency is US dollar so I will write here US dollar and and a percent a percent second currency is rupees it means that I am going to convert dollars into rupees so what should be the result in that case eco this I will copy here here I will write this variable this dollar and here I will write convert into rupees and here I will write rupees if the both of these conditions are not there in that case by default what should what should be written in that case it should write else what you should write this is how we will convert save it and here I will write localhost inside the localhost I will write ph go to php folder and here I have uh, currency html and currency php which are the two documents which I have created so I will click on currency html and here please enter the amount so I have uh, entered the amount 5 and I am selecting uh, 5 US dollar and I want to convert it into rupees so how much it is so I want to convert into rupees so I will click on submit and 5 US dollar contain 362.05 rupees so this is the result you have got so here uh, in the similar way as I have inserted two currencies here one was uh, rupees and second one was dollar you can insert other currencies also but to save time I have already created the whole program uh, already I have created this program in which I have inserted other currencies also for example the dollar was inserted the rupee was inserted which I just ha have shown you I have inserted euros also uh, how much uh, how to convert euros into US dollar and US dollars are converted into euros so these values are there uh, in the similar way euros are euros are converted into rupees and rupees are converted into euros by using these values and again I have multiplied the amount which is given by the user with those values and uh, in the similar way I have done uh, all these things and here you can see that I have used if statement uh, if my first currency is dollar and second currency is rupees in that case this should happen else if first currency is rupees and second currency is dollar then this should happen in the similar way if first currency is euros and the second currency is dollar then this should be the result in the similar way if first currency is dollar and second currency is euros then this should be the result else if first currency is euros and second currency is rupees then this should be the result and here at last first currency is rupees and second currency is euros then this should be the result so as I have shown you in the first two cases uh, these in, in these two cases here uh, in the similar way I have uh, written I have used else and if for other statements and uh, at the end I have written the default result if any of these statement is not true in that case I will uh, write here please select the different currency to convert okay and after this it is closed and this is the result which you have got which I have shown you earlier also so this is the result which uh, we have got uh, by what we have just created and this is the result which uh, you can create if you want to add more currencies so uh, if you want to add other currencies also then it will become a little bit more lengthy but the things will happen in the similar way you can insert as many currencies you want to insert here and if else statement will be added in the similar way so i hope you like my video have a nice day goodbye